doing parashat pikudei. So he says, "Ktiv v'shabachti ani tasimha." The pasuk says in Kohelet, "I praise King Solomon." Says, "I praise the joy. I praise joy." Asher ento bladam tachad shemesh. There is no better thing than joy for a person. Olam azeh kim lechol v'lishdot v'lismoah that he has food to eat, drink to drink, and he's happy. And the the person who has simha will escort him. Through this that he throws difficulty. When a person learns to enjoy the process. People a lot of times looking for joy. They say when I buy a house, then I'll be happy. When I get a car, then I'll be happy. When I get to this stage in my life, then I'll be happy. And then until they get to that point... They're suffering, they don't appreciate the process, they feel sad, they feel it's too hard, when is it going to be over with already? They feel when they get to a certain place, they're going to be happy. And then what? They get there, and something always comes up. And they're always going through the same suffering, always going through the same problems. It's always, Rabbi, it's always something, always something. I do get here, something else comes up, always something, right? So then a person has to do what? Says the czar, he has to learn to trust and appreciate the process. You have to enjoy the process. Meaning, when you see meaning in your suffering, then you will not feel suffering anymore. When a person realizes this is also good for me, I'm growing from this also, this is part of life, this is what Hashem wants to be the best for me, therefore a person will be happy even in the in between stages. He will be also happy. Why? Because he enjoys the process. He has to realize that Kadesh Baruch Hu wants you to be here in the moment you are right now. You'll be happy and it will escort you the happiness. Everything you do in your life, Tahan Shemesh in this world. So now the Zohar says this is what says the King Solomon says, I praise the joy. What? And King Solomon's praising the joy in this world? What does he mean? What is he saying? He's talking about something Olam Azeh, and he's saying Olam Azeh is good, and he's saying the joy in Olam Azeh is the main thing. Uh, that sounds uh, ant- antithetical to what we all believe in Olam Abba, and the real joy is going to be in Olam Abba, no? He's referring to the joy that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu feels more in this world, when there's Shabbat and Yom Tov, from all the physical things a person does in this world, the joy a person has in Shabbat. And Yom Tov, when these are mitzvah meals, and a person is connected to Hashem through this physicality, such as joy, Hakadosh Baruch has. That's the what King Solomon is referring to when he praises the joy. Because through this joy, he brings you to Olam Abba, and what? And he will be able to escort you, and you'll be happy. The He says another explanation. Who What does it mean that he will escort you? It doesn't mean he will escort you. Yelveno means he will give you a loan. What does it mean give you a loan? Man who. A person eats and drinks and he's happy for the honor of Shabbat Yom Tov. Anything he spends for the Shabbat Yom Tov. will give you a loan. He says, that money is not your money. I'm going to pay you back double for what you gave. You spent for Shabbat Yom Tov, don't worry, I'll take care of you. It's like you lent from me and I will pay you back. It's like I borrowed from you and you'll pay you back. will give you double. Anytime you spend something for Shabbat and Yom Tov, you should know Hashem will pay you back double. And through these things, a person will connect to Hashem. And he has, like he has mercy on a poor person, gives tzedakah. And when a person spends money in Shabbat and Yom Tov, and it's as if he gave a poor person, the Shekhinah is like a poor person, you spent on it, you gave him tzedakah, and then Hashem will go and give you back. Begin kach das simcha das yivu. According to this, you should know holiness is the simcha, and sitra achra is depression. The person who's depressed, he's connecting himself to the highest form of sitra achra. Because what's the fiftieth gate of of impurity that the Jewish people almost fell to in Mitzrayim? It's called yeush. It's called giving up. When you give up and you get depressed, that's the beginning of the snowball down to Gehenom. A person will not pray. A person will not go to mitzvot. He will not go and work. He will do nothing. He will sit home in his basement, watch Netflix, eat cheese balls, and become depressed, and fall and fall and fall and fall, do this sin, do that sin, do this sin. What is the point of living? Why am I here? Forget everything he throws away. All because he gives up. So therefore you should know, this happiness motivates you. You do more. 
If you're sad and depressed, you do nothing. And you go closer and closer to Sitra Achra. Da Hayim, joy equals life. Da Mavit, sadness equals death. You're dead, dead alive, well, if you're going to be depressed. Da Tov, Da Ra, Simcha is good. Sadness is bad. Da Gan Eden, Simcha leads you to Gan Eden. Obviously, Simcha of Mitzvah. But da Genom, sadness brings you to Genom. Kula Da, Be'epichod Da, everything is the opposite. So therefore, joy and joy of a mitzvah and being with good friends and being happy and, and laughing, doing mitzvot and enjoying it, motivated every day, you'll do it. You wake up for nets. But if you're not, you're depressed and you don't know how to handle your problems, you don't have guidance, you don't have the spirituality in your life, you get depressed and you fall down the rabbit hole all the way to gain on Hasbe Shalom. So we have Shalom. Baruch Hashem.